I'm super excited. I feel pumped for the day. I just got back from a nice, like pretty long walk with Miss Cashew, the boxer. If you guys aren't following her, she's crazy. She's our furry daughter. Um, but I already got up, uh, drank a ton of water. I am just finishing my herbal coffee concoction, which is basically herbal coffee, collagen. I've been putting cinnamon and liquid stevia in it lately. It is so good. So I'm just finishing that. But what I thought I would do to start my day. Oh, by the way, we're doing a what I eat in a day video. Duh. Um, so as you guys know, I like to make these pretty casual. So um, yeah, I'm just no makeup and winter attire, but I'm gonna change out of this quickly. I just like to bundle up when I go for a walk with Cashew. So anyways, uh, because everyone is sick right now, I thought why not start today with some wellness shots? And I actually just, <clears throat> I'm not getting sick. My <clears throat> not getting sick. Um, I feel like everyone is sick right now. So I'm just like, I need all the vitamin C and immune boosting stuff that I can get into my body. I actually just shared a wellness shot recipe on my Instagram. So you guys can check that out there. If you aren't following me, I share stuff every single day, bonus recipes, um, just what I'm doing in my everyday life. There's tons of stuff on there that I'm always updating you guys on. So definitely follow me on Instagram. Um, but I shared a recipe like this, very similar, um, but I'm gonna just juice everything fresh. I'm gonna finish my herbal coffee. I'm just gonna get changed for the day because I'm already getting sweaty in this. It's very warm. Uh, and let's make some juice, shall we? Cheers. So for today's wellness shot, I'm cutting up some Kara Kara oranges. I love having fresh citrus on hand for just eating or juicing. I think it's so good for you. It's full of vitamin C and definitely around this time of year when everyone is getting sick, I feel like my body just needs that extra boost. For this juice recipe, I did one large orange, two lemons, a big chunk of raw ginger, a chunk of turmeric, and a good dash of cayenne pepper. I actually love this juicer. We got it last year through a friend of ours that sells these and it works so well. Like the price is amazing and it's a masticating juicer. So it doesn't actually heat up any of the produce that you're juicing, which means the enzymes stay intact and it just lasts and stays fresher in the fridge longer. So these are the final wellness shots. So Chloe actually picked up these containers when we were shopping for our fridge organization video. Um, but they're really cute because you can just like uh, portion out your wellness shots in them, store them in the fridge, and then the morning of, you just shoot one down. So these are quite big, but I think they're the same size that you get at the grocery store, but just way more affordable and they're fresher because you just made them. And if you're using a juicer that doesn't, it's like a masticating juicer, it doesn't heat up, your juices will actually last longer in the fridge. Otherwise, you want to probably drink them in the next uh, 24 or 48 hours. So here you go, Chloe. Chloe doesn't want to be on camera, so she's going to take it behind. Shake it up. I put some cayenne pepper. I actually kind of put a lot, so. Don't get it on your sweater. Uh -oh. I'm scared. We aren't getting sick. Not in 2020. Oh, Ready? Yeah. Cheers. chaser oh yeah break for the day all right uh, so that was my pre breakfast drink anytime I'm drinking juices or wellness shots I like to have them on an empty stomach and at least half an hour before I'm actually consuming food so we're gonna make my uh, salted caramel stovetop granola from the health nut cookbook Chloe would you mind passing me the book <laughs> here it is <laughs> If you guys didn't know, I actually have my own cookbook. It came out in fall of 2019. It's so beautiful and I'm really excited just to continue cooking from it. 
in 2020 and one of the recipes that's actually was one of the first ones I created for the book is my salted caramel stovetop granola here it is because I thought wouldn't it be cool if you could make granola without having to heat up the oven in a really short amount of time and I did it I successfully created delicious granola that you can make on the stovetop so if you don't have a oven for whatever reason you can make this it's really simple it's delicious it's healthy very minimal ingredients so we're gonna make this salted caramel sauce with brown rice syrup and almond butter no blending dates so it's really really easy and we're just gonna have this with some yogurt and stewed berries so I'm really excited because I've just been on the green smoothie trend lately you guys know I love them but I'm just like craving something a little bit different today so we're gonna make this in the book also I'll have a link down below uh, if you guys want to grab a copy it might be on sale right now too which is really exciting so yeah Grab a copy if you haven't already. It's an awesome book. I know you will love it. All right, let's make the stovetop granola. So I have my caramel sauce almost ready. It's just a mixture, like I said, of coconut oil, brown rice syrup, almond butter, a little vanilla, sea salt. And then in a large pan, I'm gonna melt some coconut oil, add in my rolled oats, chopped almonds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and lots of cinnamon. And I'm just gonna mix it around and toast it. Adding in my caramel sauce and just mixing that through. and then I'm transferring it to a baking sheet lined with a silicone baking mat. We actually sell these on thehealthnutshop.com. They're really great because you can reuse them. I like to serve mine over some sheep milk yogurt. And some stewed berries on top, which are just frozen mixed berries that I warmed up on the stove until they got all nice and mushy. I feel like I haven't had a yogurt parfait in a, in a while, so this is definitely a treat. Mm. The stewed berries, so good. Look at that beautiful color. Mm. And the granola, it's crunchy, it's sweet, it's salty, it's so good. And it, you can make it under 30 minutes on your soap top. Mm. It was so good. So I'm gonna enjoy this for breakfast and I'll see you guys back here for lunch. Now for my favorite salad, I'm just chopping up some grapes. Cubing up some chicken that I already made during my Sunday meal prep. chopping some marinated artichokes. And then in a large bowl, I'm adding in my greens. I had some leftover kale and romaine from the other day. I'm adding that in. My grapes, my chicken, the artichoke, adding in some cooked quinoa, which is also something that you can meal prep, goat cheese, and sliced almonds. For my dressing, I'm doing a mixture of balsamic vinegar with olive oil, and also this store-bought ranch dressing that I just got from the health food store. I think it's called Mother Raw. And you just toss everything together and you're done. So this is my epic salad that I've been making recently and I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. I don't know, it's like the textures and like the sweet and savory. I, don't, I, I just, I'm in love with it. It's so good. Matt saw me eating it the other day and even he's like, that salad looks bomb. I think I shared it in, uh, my vision board vlog as well I was making it so this is actually probably enough for two people and what's really great about the salad is that it stores well so I'll probably eat about half of this and then store the rest of it for lunch tomorrow um, I'm having this and then for my drink okay I'm gonna put this down because it's really heavy for my drink I've been obsessed with uh, this new concoction so you guys know I don't really drink a lot of sugary drinks uh, I don't really drink a lot of juice or pop and I still like I like the fizziness of pop I just don't like the like all the sugar and the caffeine that you know you sometimes get with coke so what I did recently just to make it taste a little bit more like pop is I ended up just putting it full first off I filled it with ice as you saw I put some liquid stevia which I've been really into liquid stevia I don't know I found a brand that I really like the Trader Joe's one and then I just squeeze a couple, like half of a lime in here, top it with, I've been liking it with the strawberry sparkling water. 
the lime and strawberry go really well and like the stevia just gives it enough sweetness that it feels like you're drinking pop it's so good like matt is even on board with it now oh it's so refreshing this is what i'm gonna be drinking all summer cheers it's so good you need to try this so now I'm preparing my raw chocolate chip cookie dough balls from the cookbook. To a food processor, I'm adding in cashew butter, vanilla extract, and pure maple syrup. Mix that all together and then you can add in our dry ingredients. I have almond flour and a good pinch of sea salt. Give that a mix and then we're gonna add in, the best part is the chocolate chips. And now it really does look like cookie dough and it tastes so good. Now you can roll them into balls using your hands, but I like to just use a cookie scoop. And I feel like they really do look like cookie dough with all the texture. If you've been following my channel for a while now and you don't own yourself a large and mini cookie scoop, you need one in your kitchen. They make things so much easier. I use mine all the time. So these actually don't have a photo in the cookbook, but they may be one of my favorite recipes in the book. They're so freaking good. These are what I made like throughout the whole cookbook tour when I was doing events or I was going on live television because they store really well and they're always a crowd pleaser. Like anyone who eats these, whether they eat healthy or not, they're just blown away that the fact that they taste like legit cookie dough, not like, oh, it kind of tastes like, no, it's cookie dough guys. This tastes like cookie dough. Like the texture, it's like the saltiness on the chocolate chips. Mm. I almost wish I could just dip them in like a glass of milk, almond milk, of course. Anyway, so they're delicious. So I'm gonna have this one as a snack. I'm gonna store the rest in the fridge to have throughout the week. Matt will probably, if he sees these, they won't make it till the end of the week. So we'll try to hide them in the back of the fridge. <laughs> All right, it is dinner time, but not the same day. It's the next day because we ended up going to my friend Joy's cookbook launch party. I actually have a copy of her book right here. It's so beautiful and we're book neighbors. Every time I go to the bookstore or anyone posts a photo of our, one of our books, like the other one is next to it, which is so surreal because Joy has been a huge inspiration in building Health Net Nutrition and me wanting to do TV appearances, start a blog, write my own cookbook. And we I remember during her um, journey with her book, we were just, well, we were both writing our books like at the same time. So they kind of both launched like a few months apart, which was really cool. We got to share that together. It is such a beautiful book and I'm definitely gonna have to cook some recipes from it. You guys definitely need to check it out. I'll link it down below. I got both. Mr. Walker and Miss Joy to sign it to both me and Matt and it's so beautiful. So thank you Joy, your cookbook launch party was so much fun. I met so many awesome people there and I'm so happy that I was able to attend and I thought I was invited. I'm just uh, hydrating, drinking lots of water. I do that during the day. I don't share it enough on these What I Eat In A Day videos, but drinking lots of water. Um, but what I want to share uh, for dinner is something that Matt and I have been eating and loving, and it is our pizzas. We make homemade pizzas on a tortilla wrap, and we fill it with like a ton of veggies and whatever we have left over in the fridge from the week and they're the most delicious things ever. So I'm gonna get Matt, he's here, he's gonna help me, he's gonna be my sous chef. We both have like our jobs, he's good at the chopping and grating the cheese and I do the assembly and they're so good. So you definitely need to make them or like you can play around with it, they're, it's not serious. You just like throw on stuff, bake it and it's so good. So Friday nights are our pizza night. It's Friday night and we're making pizza. Matt, ready? Ready. Let's do it. We're gonna grab stuff from the fridge what we got here. I did buy some olives or somewhere. Um, got some oh, we got one bubbly. And we're keeping our fridge pretty clean after the fridge organization video. Do we have um, chica, uh, zucchini? Yeah. What Can else do we put in it? Cheese? 
So Matt is being a really good sous chef and finally chopping all of the veggies with precision. And then I'm just preparing the pizza. So I have my whole wheat tortilla wraps. I'm spreading on some marinara sauce, sprinkling on some mozzarella cheese that I grated. And then I'm just topping it with all the veggies. So today we had red onion, zucchini. I know zucchini sounds like a weird thing to add, but it's really good. Mushrooms. I also added some fresh basil, kale, whole green olives, and then just crumbling some goat cheese, which is key on these pizzas, it's so good. I also have some pickled jalapeno peppers, and then I'm just finishing it off with some sea salt and black pepper. Sometimes I'll add fresh oregano, but I already have the herbs, so I was good. Pop it into the oven. I like to bake mine at 350 Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. So I made another one of my, I, I don't know what the name for this is, but it's like my healthy soda. It's so good. And this is the final product. So I usually will eat two or like one and a half of these. Chloe now is eyeballing my pizza. I asked her, do you want me to make you one? And she's like, no, I'm not hungry. I'm gonna go eat at mom's. And now she's like, oh, remember when I said that? Can I, those look pretty good. <laughs> So if you have your little sister over, just make her her own pizza because she's gonna steal yours. I love, uh, this is my first time putting whole olives on it. It was so good. So this is my Friday night. Very exciting, I know. Um, but we're gonna eat this, watch The Mentalist. If you guys like these what I eat in a day videos, I have a whole bunch on my channel. I'll have a playlist link down below that you guys can binge watch. I love watching what people eat in a day, so hopefully you guys find it interesting. I'm gonna eat my food. I'm hungry. It's hot. Matt, you gonna grab yours? Yeah. We're gonna, have a, we're gonna have a very exciting night. Okay, bye guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a fabulous day.